Good morning crafty girls. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ilona and I especially want to welcome all my new subbies. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so happy that you uh, sub to me and I hope you will uh, have lots of fun and that I will be inspiring to you. And today I made this vintage Victorian inspired ladies riding hat. It's a recycling project. I used a paper plate, just a regular paper plate. This one I initially used but it didn't work out. And I also used yogurt cup. So Uh, initially, I uh, you, see, you can see on, on my plate it it warped and didn't work because I uh, wanted to um, use my book paper to uh, mod podge on there, but somehow uh, the paper was too flimsy and it didn't work out. So I started over again. I used this paper plate and I painted it with the, it's called clay. Oops, it's from a local store and it has this light brownish, well, clay color. After I painted it, I cut out a circle that fitted my uh, yogurt cup. So I, I, I painted this cup after I decoupaged it and also the the paper plate after I decoupaged the doily on there. Sorry, I forgot that I have a, a doily on there, and I also have that oops, on my back. So I mud parts those. That had a pearlized finish. It's also from a local store. And it gave it a, a bit of a shine, and I'm I'm not sure. I don't think it will. It shows very well. Maybe you can see it here on the sides. It just shines a bit. It's very pretty. And then I used a curtain, an old curtain, and I put that on the top. Sorry, I have to move it again. <laughs> here, you can see the curtain. So, and then the top and the bottom, but at the bottom you cannot see it that much anymore. Uh, I used some lace around there, so you can see it here on the side, all the way around on the top and the bottom. And after I did that, I used this kind of a mesh fabric it's on a roll like this it's very pretty and I got it from uh, Leonie who is my passion for paper here on YouTube thank you so much Leonie I have used it for several projects and I really really like how it turns out so I cut up uh, a really big piece, I'm not sure how long, but pretty long, so I wrapped it around, tied it in a knot, and then made this bow. I looked on the internet and, uh, for um, riding hats, so I, I used that as a reference to make this one. And I saw that uh, in very many pictures there were... Um, Hats like like uh, top hats that uh, the women uh, had on while riding, and they all had these um, two or while bounded around it, and then puffed up in the back, and ha and they were hanging um, hanging down. So I left my pieces dangling down. You can see. So 
so I made this big bow on the on the back because I like the fact that something came uh, behind there and was a bit higher than the head. I just thought it made it a little bit more interesting. So when I had glued that on, I uh, started decorating and I found these feathers at a a second hand store and I bought them <laughs> because I really love them and never used them but uh, it was perfect for this project so I put that one on and I fiddled around with some different embellishments and then uh, decided on keeping it pretty simple I just have this uh, I'm gonna screw it over a little I have this bow that came from a local store and also these paper flowers so I glued those on and all the way on the front I used this piece of lace that I cut out of another piece of lace and glued that on with this pretty rhinestone and I also uh, added these berries berry spray um, because I really thought it needed another color um, on the back that was why that was actually how because at first I didn't have the berries on there so this is the back of my head I'm trying to get it in a good frame so here you can see the big bow and I glued on this foam, big foam rose and I I thought it it needed something it was too plain to have it just with this uh, big rose so then I uh, started using all kinds of stuff and nothing really worked until I got these berries and these sprays out in this greenish white cream color and that just gave it enough pop so it, it all came together so I had that on the back and then when I turned it back around I immediately thought this is too plain it also this also needs a bit of color so I put uh, three of the berries on the front as well to uh, to make it look pretty and that's what I did and I really 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 like this one it, it turned out so absolutely adorable and I actually do not know what to do with this because it's totally not my colors I'm a blue person and not a pink person so um, if anyone's interested I really want to sell this so um, leave me a comment or a private message and we can figure something out uh, thank you all for watching and have a great day bye bye everybody